Is a Canon D3200 a good camera in 2020? Well, in my opinion, it's still a very good camera. Now, the Nikon D32 came out in April of 2012, and it is a 24.2 megapixel. So you can take some really good quality pictures with it. Fairly easy to use. Now, on this one here, I have it set up in Nikon DX, and it's an 18 to 55 millimeter Nikkor VR lens, which uh, can add to the quality of the picture. And the cameras themselves, you should be able to pick up somewhere around about 125 up to about 200 uh, plus, depending on uh, where you pick it up from. Sometimes you can get some better deals on them. What you want to look for if you pick one of these up, you want to make sure that it's in really good shape. Try to make sure there's not too much dust on there. Look at your, make sure your flash works. For one thing, it just popped out. But look at your screen in the back. Make sure everything works on there the way it's supposed to. Well, look through your viewfinder. So one way to see if you have any kind of debris or anything is to look through your view, viewfinder and find a white wall to see if there's any kind of specks or grains, anything that should not be there. Now that could be a factor of two different things. It could be, or maybe multiple things, but it could be that the lens is uh, dirty or it needs to be cleaned up front on the inside. It could be on your viewfinder itself. There's also an uh, area above the sensor mirror where you can look at and clean the, uh, the part of the viewfinder. So it depends on what it could be. As far as the camera itself, fairly easy to use. I'm not gonna go into all the details with all the different options here. And I could do a future video on these, but you turn it on here with this little switch. And then if you wanna look at the pictures that you've taken, you would uh, just select this button right here. And then you can go back and forth on the pictures. I'm trying to see, I have one picture taken here, so it's not a very good example, but it's just, of the curtain here where I was sitting and the quality of the pictures come out really good as well now depending on what kind of photography you're looking to do this is a good uh, mid-range camera if you're a beginner or if you want a good backup camera this would be something nice to have as well there are different features that you can use on these you can hook it up to a tripod it does come with a with a good size battery that should last a nice amount of time but whenever you get a camera like this dslrs any kind of camera it's always a good idea to get extra batteries as well you put your battery in and this is the spot for your sd card and sometimes a camera will not turn on without the sd card in this model here of nikon actually will turn on but it tells you there's no sd card once you turn it on and that's pretty much what i wanted to cover on my review if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you need to add more to these videos regarding cameras and, and the accessories, thanks for watching this video. And if you haven't uh, taken a chance to do so, uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to catch my future videos.